Earlier this month on February 2nd, Apple finally launched its much-anticipated Vision Pro Mixed Reality headset in the United States of America for a whopping $3,499 for the base 256GB variant. And now that it has been a couple of weeks since the headset was launched, a lot of initial buyers are heading back to Apple stores to return their Vision Pro headsets. Now for those uninitiated, Apple gives customers in the United States a 14-day return period and in that period they can choose to return whatever Apple product they chose to buy from Apple for a full refund, no questions asked. Now why is this happening? Why are customers heading back to Apple to return a product that has garnered this much hype and is being called a spatial computer? Well, the answer is not really simple because customers are citing various reasons owing to which they have made the decision to return back the product to Apple. Some of the people who bought the headset have talked about the discomfort caused by the device, with some of them even facing issues like headache and motion sickness, while some feel that it is priced too high. So it is no wonder that buyers are fully taking advantage of Apple's return policy to first test the headset and if they do not like it, return back to Apple for a full refund. It goes without saying that Apple indeed does offer some of the most well-made tech products in the market, but this time around with the Vision Pro, choosing premium materials like metal and glass may have resulted in a headset that is just way too heavy for the average consumer. For those of you who do not know, the Apple Vision Pro weighs 600 to 650 grams depending on what configuration of the light seal and the headband that you chose. So this isn't light by any means. Mark Zuckerberg, Meta CEO, who also makes mixed reality products like the Meta Quest 3, has rightly pointed this out that their product is indeed much lighter than Apple's. Another major reason for people to return the headset back to Apple is the fact that they simply could not find much of a use case for the headset. Many have said that they simply could work on their MacBooks to get the same work done and they find it hard to concentrate in the virtual windows while doing tasks like programming. There is no doubt in that Apple's version with the headset is more tuned for the future and even the platform showcases promise. But the high price tag will invariably come into the equation for the average buyer, which explains the stories of people returning the headset before the return window officially ends. So that was why many chose to return their headsets back to Apple. We will bring you more on the Vision Pro as and when more developments come into the play. I am Shaurya Sharma reporting for CNN News 18.